This is a digital logic question based upon K maps. We have been given a Boolean function with four variables W, X, Y, and Z such that these four expressions hold true. And we need to determine the number of literals in the minimum SOP form for the expression X. So we can start with making a four cross four K map with these four variables W, X, Y, and Z. It will look like this. On the row side, we can take W, X, and here we can take y and z then the terms will be represented using 0 0 0 1 and 1 1 0 and similarly here now the first expression is saying us f of w 0 0 z is 1 which means the values corresponding to x and y are set as 0 so if we set x and y and keep w and z independent they can take either 0 or 1 then irrespective of their value, the result is always 1. So the terms corresponding to that in our k-map will be, let us say for x we are setting 0. So these two are the favoring columns. Similarly, for y equal to 0, these are the two rows which will be holding true. So now irrespective of the values of w and z, these four will always have the value as 1. So we can set them to be 1. Now going to the next one, it is saying f of 1x 1z which means w and y are fixed as 1 while x and z are independent to take any value. So which are the uh, rows and columns corresponding to this expression? This particular uh, w equal to 1 corresponds to the last two columns while y equal to 1 corresponds to these last two rows. And what is their intersection? It is these four uh, cells. And what is the value we'll be putting in these four cells? It is not either 0 or 1. It is dependent on the value of x and z. And how is it dependent? It is x plus z. So if we look at this particular cell, in this cell the value of x is 1 while for z is also 1. Hence x plus z will give us 1. Now coming to this next cell here, the value of x is 0 while z is 1 so their or will again give us 1 coming to this cell value of x is 1 while z is 0 so their or will again be 1 but for the last cell x and z are both 0 so their or operation will also give us 0 so this is how the second expression will be utilized and now moving to the third one it is saying f of w1 yz which means only x is the independent variable x is set as 1 while w y and z are all freely uh, free to take any values from 0 or 1 so which are the uh, cells corresponding to x equal to 1 this is value of x as 1 so all of these eight cells will satisfy that criteria so what's the value we'll be putting in these cells it is dependent on the other three which is w z and y so how do we let us say for this particular cell it will be replaced with the value of w z plus y now for this cell what is the value of w it is 0 and the value of z is also 0 but value of y it is 0 as well so 0 plus 0 will again give us 0 now coming to this cell the value of w is 1 you can simply look at these indices w is 1 z is 0 so their and operation is 0 and then and oring to it the value of y which is also 0 so this cell will take the value 0 coming to this cell here we have w as 0 z as 1 so the rand will be 0 and plus y it will again be 0 so coming to this one w is 1 z is 1 but y is 0 so this becomes 1 plus 0 giving us 1 Coming to this one, here w is 0 and z is 1, but y is also 1. So for this last four cells, since the value of y is 1, so whatever is the value of wz, oring it with 1, wz plus 1 will always be 1. So these last four cells will take the value 1. And we already had 1 in these two, so that does not change. So now using these three expressions, we have filled the values in all these cells, except these two which are left out. So they will be kept as 
the or we can say that they are the ambiguous values or we can say or sigma over there so that the resulting expression for f of w x y z that will be determined using the k map which we have just formed and we can now form groups in it like this these are the min terms having four terms this is another four this is another one using this don't care terms there is no use of taking including them anywhere because we cannot anyway form an size 8 min term so we have only got three min terms having size 4 each now looking at this particular min term what is the expression it is giving out the common term is this one so it is x bar and from the row this is the common thing which is y bar plus now looking at this min term of size 4 the common column is the first one which is w and from the row we get the second one which is z so w z and the last min term which is here at the bottom again of size 4 from column it is giving out x while from row it is giving y because that is the common term so this is the SOP expression we have got for the function f and they are asking us for the number of literals in this expression. So we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 literals in this SOP expression. So the answer for this question will be 6.